Today we decided to try a new beach, a beach that was an hour's drive away from us. You'll see Ferry running faster than Usain Bolt on this beach today. It's called Frinton. We've never been here before, but it's one of the nicer beaches in our area. We have to drive an hour to get to our closest beach. This one's recommended for dogs because of the high sea wall all along the back, which makes it very secure so the dogs can't escape. As usual, Fairy was very excited when her feet touched the sand. And as soon as we let her off the lead, she went mad. She went zooming around, flat out around the beach. Really lovely to see her be able to do this. This beach has lots of the wooden breakers or groins, which help to stop erosion. They prevent the sediment from moving along the beach. So Fairy was able to jump all of these as she ran along. Lots of people have mentioned in their comments and asked what Fairy is like with other dogs. As you can see, there were lots of dogs on this beach today. Um, big dogs, small dogs, and you'll see how she interacts with the dogs in this video today. Fairy takes very little notice of other dogs on the beach. She just gets on with what she wants to do, which is running. She's wearing her GoPro camera today, mounted on her harness. And you can see from her point of view what it's like for her to run on the beach. A few people have commented asking how it's so stable um, and not bouncing around. It's because we have a max mod lens on the GoPro 9 camera which stabilizes the movement and fixes the horizon line. Here's Fairy approaching a few people with their dogs on the beach. As you can see, she's very well behaved. She's not trying to chase the dogs. Fairy minds her own business. It's mostly the other dogs that approach her. And when they do, she just stands there and says hello to them. She's very friendly. I think she enjoyed jumping over the breakers today gave her a bit of variety. We took the new ball launcher that we bought yesterday from the pet shop and so we were able to throw the ball a good distance for her to chase and she really enjoyed that. Here you can see she just ignores the people with walking their two dogs and comes back to us when we call her. Her obedience is really improving. When I use the command wait, she does usually stop and wait for me. It's a cold day today, it's one degree this morning, so Fairy is running in her fleece today to keep the chill off her. It's currently about 9.30 in the morning. We had to come early so that we could catch low tide and there was enough beach for her to run on. Have you got it? Okay. 
fairy ran through some big puddles of water and also went into the sea to catch her ball. So she ended up getting her fleece very wet on the belly and we ended up taking it off and changing her jacket later on because she looked like she was uncomfortable with a wet soggy fleece under her belly. She seemed to have trouble locating the ball when it landed in the water. We ended up having to go over and help her find it. This is the yellow squeaky ball that she chose herself at the pet shop yesterday, which you saw in her video. If you haven't yet watched her shopping spree video, have a look on her playlists and watch it. It's really good. Here you can see she's struggling to find her ball again when it goes in the water. I was told that dogs can see yellow and blue and that's why she chose the yellow ball from the shop but she didn't seem to be able to see it very well when it went in the water. She's looking around. She's not sure where it is. It's over to the right. I had to go and show her where it was. The ball launcher was definitely a big success and I'm pleased we got the folding one as it fits really easily into my bag. It doesn't stick out the top nice and compact for when you're walking with the rucksack on. It's a really lovely, quiet little beach, this one, with the pretty beach huts all along the back. We'll definitely be coming here again as it's only an hour's drive. It's very dog friendly, not too many people, but lots of dogs. A really lovely beach. Mary was offered lots of water as always, but on cold days she just isn't interested. She didn't drink till she got back to the van. Because she's seen a ball. Here's some footage of her with lots of different types of dog. You can see how well behaved she is around other dogs. She acknowledges them, she says hello to them, she doesn't harass them. She's always very friendly. Once she gets tired and she's had enough of playing with her balls, she always digs a hole and buries her ball in it. Buried a hole, why can't you just go to the same one? Come. Come. 
these two dogs started chasing Fairy. You can see they chased her quite a long way. They didn't catch up with her, um, but she didn't look too comfortable when they did. She stood there quietly, let them say hello to her. Then she started doing this stretching. I think probably from all the running, her muscles were feeling a bit tight, maybe cramping. You can see she keeps stopping and she keeps stretching. At this point, I'd taken her fleece off her because it was very wet. I let her have a little run around without a coat on, but I was worried that her muscles would get cold. So we then changed her jacket to her thin green waterproof jacket. I also gave her a rub over with my hands, like a massage, just to sort of ease any tension that she'd got from running in her muscles. I think here Fairy was rubbing her neck on the sand because she wanted her buff off, off her neck. She usually tells me when she doesn't want an item of clothing on. Come here, come here. This wet, is that what you want off? Hmm? Is that better? She's not stupid. She's going over the small one. Fairy's had a great time. We spent about an hour on the beach. And that's usually enough for her. Come here. Right at the end, just before we left the beach, we saw some little dachshunds. So here you can see how Fairy reacts with very small dogs. Has a little sniff. Really isn't interested that much. Even if they were running, she wouldn't chase them. She finished off digging the sand up and making herself a nice comfy spot to lay down. After a little nap and a rest, she had one last play with her ball before we went home.
She's digging a hole to bury her ball again, which means she's had enough of playing with it. We took a little walk along the promenade by the beach huts before we went home. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed another of our beach videos. Don't forget to subscribe and click your notifications and turn them on so you don't miss any of her future videos. Here's a few videos you might like to watch next.